Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 1088. This is Close to You. Close to You is a 2024 movie that is directed by Dominic Savage. This is from Greenwich Entertainment, Me Plus You Productions, and Good Question Media Productions. And I saw this movie on August 19th, 2024, at AMC Newport on the Revy 20 in Newport, Kentucky. So Elliot Page portrays Sam. So Sam is a man who is trans, who returns to his hometown for the first time in years. On his journey, he confronts his relationship with his family, he reunites with a first love, and discovers a newfound confidence in himself. So, Elliot Page, who was formerly known as Ellen Page, stars in this film as Sam. Sam decides to revisit his hometown to, to see his family for his, fa for his father's birthday. Um, he hasn't seen his family in, in a number of years. Um, let's just say that in the movie there are some family tensions as some of the family members haven't seen uh, Sam in a very long time. Um, even though most of them, I will say, are okay with Sam being a boy rather than a girl, a couple of them still see Sam as, as their girl. And then there was one particular member of the family who asked a bunch of questions about Sam that made Sam a little uncomfortable to say the least. But Sam also reconnects with, an, with, a, with a first love of his, who has a family now, but seeing Sam kind of gives her some tears about what life was like back when they were younger. And this is also a movie about Sam rediscovering himself. His journey leads to self-acceptance self and newfound strength as his transition in himself definitely was not easy and he's trying to trying to be in touch with his family again but his family is trying very very hard to accept Sam as he is now but at the same time there are some people that don't doesn't exactly understand the whole process or the whole reasoning behind Sam wanting to do what he did. I thought it was a pretty good movie, and I haven't seen Elliot Page in a, in a film for a number of years. Um, of course, when I saw movies that had Ellen Page, like Junior or Inception, this was back when he was younger. He is a little bit older now, as I don't know the last movie that he was he that he starred in. I don't think it was Inception because that was in 2010. But I thought it was a pretty good movie, and I like how the movie focuses on on acceptance of yourself, trying to find the strength to tackle some issues in life, especially with your family. As so as one's family is trying very hard to accept you for the way you are. But at the same token, they still remember this person as a different self. And I don't want to get into much spoilers. But the the questions that this one particular family member gave to Sam, I didn't exactly like that. I didn't like the questions he asked, and I can definitely understand why Sam got uncomfortable. It, you guys will probably see it in the trailer a little bit, but it gets more intense in the movie. Now, um, I will I won't say too much about his re about Sam's reconnection with his first love, but it's actually pretty sweet. And let's just say that there's still a interest between the two, even though even though the woman has a family of her own. But it's still a bittersweet reunion. And also Sam going back to his hometown who he hasn't 
who going back to his hometown where he hasn't been in a number of years. So there are still good memories that he has, but at the same token, he wonders how much of the world will accept him for the way he is now. And it's very clear in the movie that some people do accept him, while others, I don't know. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So Hilary Bach portrays Catherine, who is Sam's former love. Peter Alabridge portrays Jim, who is Sam's dad. Wendy Cruson portrays Miriam, who is Sam's mom. Jenna Porter portrays Tate. Alice Paston Beasley portrays Megan. Daniel Maserani as Michael. Su Yen Rhee as Emily. Andrew Bushel as Death Stephen. Jim Lawson as Daniel. David Rayo as Paul. And Amanda Richards as Margot. So yeah, this, this was actually a pretty good movie. And I like how Elliot Page actually wrote the story for this film. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. So that's my movie review of Close to You, Precinct Truthfulness, movie review. Alright, goodbye.